Welcome to the Crafting End. Winter is coming for the Northern Hemisphere. In the last video, we built a VIF for the tropical species. But what about the European ants? Where do they go in the winter time? It's time to talk about hibernation. What is hibernation? BetterPlanetEducation.org.uk states, hibernation is when an animal slows his heart rate to save energy and survive the winter without eating. Some animals just slow down and move less frequently during hibernation, but others go into deep sleep and don't wake up till spring. During hibernation, the animal's body temperature drops, its heartbeat and its breathing slow down so that it does not use much energy. Some hibernators go into such a deep sleep that it almost is impossible to wake them. And they appear to be dead. Okay, but why hibernate? In winter times the conditions change. First the ants themselves. Ants are cold blooded animals. Their bodies can't make heat. The cold temperatures change the rates that their bodies can make food into energy. This will decrease all their activities. Secondly, food will get scarce. Plants will not have seeds, feeder animals will hide and hibernate themselves, and moving is not an option. A lot of birds fly to warmer places, but ants are not that lucky. So where do they go? In the wild, ants will hide in their nests, mostly on the ground. While temperatures above ground can go below zero, mostly underground it's warmer. There they huddle together. All growth will halt. The queen will stop laying eggs and the brood will stay in the same phase. Do I need to hibernate my ants? With all the options that we have with heating rooms, vifs, heat cables and heat mats, is it really necessary to hibernate my ants? Well, this has two sides. Are the ants able to skip hibernation? For a lot of species, yes. But the other side to hibernation is that it is a general break. The queen has been pumping out eggs all year. When hibernating, she comes to rest. This really reduces stress. And we all know how much of an influence that can be. When does hibernation start? This is very different for different species. Be sure to do your research on your ants. But there are indicators, simple things. The queen will stop laying eggs. Not many or no workers at all will leave the nest. The food that you provide will stay untouched. Or they will even block off the nest like our Campanotus vagus did. Where do I put my ants? Again, do your research. Find out what temperature your ants need and then decide. People put them in fridges, garages or crawl spaces. Remember to check on them once in a while. Do my ants need water or food? In most cases, ants will eat very little, if anything, during their hibernation period. You are welcome to offer them food but ensure that it does not mold when it's not taken. It's important to note that you must continue to provide humidity and drinking water during the hibernation period. Now that we have the facts, let's prepare. First, the temperature. The ants that I want to hibernate are happy between seven and nine degrees Celsius. Let me check my crawl space. Oh, it's too warm. I know it will lower in winter, but for now it's too hot. Okay, I have an old fridge, but that's too cold on the warmest setting. Hmm. Nothing a temperature controller can't handle. Let's prepare the setups. 
take out all the leftover food, check the water for the drinking and hydration. And since we only have a small fridge, we are taking off outwells to reduce the size. And here they are, stacked up. Sleep tight and see you in March. This is it for this video. If you want to help our channel, join our Discord. We have an idea section in the server. If you have an idea and I think it's good enough to make, you get a copy for free. And of course, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and see you next week at the Crafting Ant.